This presentation and video on electronic timekeeping with Land Magic Field Time and Mobile Magic is designed to give you an overview of the capabilities and functions of electronic timekeeping from the field to payroll. So whether you're producing or harvesting crops like tomatoes, strawberries, blueberries, citrus, fruits, wheat, cotton, field crops, etc., Land Magic Field Time can help you streamline that process. LandMagic products are much like Microsoft Office. LandMagic is the brand and each one of these icons in, that you can see on the screen here are products. Today we're going to focus on LandMagic Field Time and Mobile Magic for the agriculture industry. LandMagic Field Time is designed for regular and H2A workers and gives you a lot of flexibility for devices, whether they be tablets, they could be eye buttons, fingerprint readers, uh, barcoded badges, etc. And one of the things that you'll see on this particular slide is uh, electronic records and signature, and we're going to cover that piece in today's presentation. These are the job tasks that can be set up. Notice here job time and labor tracking. So different jobs can be set up at different levels of detail to track certain functions. The crew schedule, and this is where you do the timesheet approvals, allows you to go in and approve worksheets that have been done in the field and, and make sure that they're right and balance those before sending over to your payroll system. This particular screen here is a worker timesheet of a particular crew. This is uh, the Ricardo crew in this particular example. This is a piecework example, and these are the signatures that have come out from the field from Mobile Magic. And the way that was done is Mobile Magic with a tablet type screen. So this is a touch screen application. It's a tablet that you can pick up at Walmart, Staples, or a lot of the common different places. And you simply click the button, verify the time, and the signature comes in and signs on, on the tablet itself and then gets uploaded to the Field Time website. Lots of different data collection options here. Notice there's what we call slot barcode scanners. Here's a wireless scanner. Uh, fingerprint readers, uh, rugged tablets, phones, eye buttons, etc. So lots of different devices out there that you can use and the beauty of Mobile Magic field time is, is as new devices become available and mature then we can plug them right in. We've tried vein readers and facial recognition and a bunch of different types of devices. How it works is you collect the data out in the field with Mobile Magic that is then uploaded to the field time website into the crew schedule where the office then approves the worksheets and once those worksheets are approved that data can then be sent into a wide variety of payroll processing solutions whether it be QuickBooks, whether it be Citrus Pro, Harbor America, CertiPay, Famous, etc. There's a few more like ADP in Data Tech, etc. So the idea is to be able to capture it once, make sure it's right, and process payroll which streamlines the payroll process significantly. So when you look at what's the difference between LandMagic, well it's a web platform so that the website that you'll see today uh, LandMagic Field Time website I can get to it from anywhere so I could be in truck, home or the office. The Field Time website provides the minimum wage calculation and provides a payroll analysis prior to going into the payroll system and now you have a payroll choice really import the records into a wide variety of payroll options today. Uh, it handles no, both regular and H2A workers and, and it is a, a solution to help you be compliant in that area. It tracks the three-quarter guarantee and provides the reporting as it relates to your position uh, and it provides a wide variety of, of device independence. Welcome to Land Magic, simple agriculture software. This demonstration is focused on LandMagic's electronic timekeeping solution called LandMagic Field Time and Mobile Magic. I am on the LandMagic website now and, and I enter my user ID and password to log into the site. It takes me to my page and today uh, for demonstration purposes my name is John Demo and it brings in my favorites and reports that I've added and allows me to provide help in any kind of news that I have. We have the capabilities for multiple languages, whether it be English, Spanish, or multiple language capability. So you select your preferences, and I'm going to stick with English for, the, for this particular case. Notice the applications up at the top, and if I go to the home, 
it'll bring me back here and my applications are on the left and the reports are on the right so if I go from left to right you'll see this is our GeoMaps application this is field time where we're going to spend some time looking at that this is crop care barn manager harvesting and mobile magic so let's go first and let's take a look at the workers and contacts and if I go into there you'll see here's all of the different contacts and I can have different kind of groups I can have employees workers contract workers office groups here's an example of crew leaders staff production workers so forth here's all my different crews that I have my different work crews so I can sort and select and access any information very quickly and if I click on one of our workers Albert here you notice he has a picture he's got some basic contact information up at the top he's an H2A worker in this particular case he belongs to Marvin's crew the employee number here would actually come from the payroll system of record so that's the actual payroll or the employee number in the payroll system in addition to that I have the ability to track um, additional capabilities like housing transportation etc and to track certifications that and if I typed in I would now have a record in there for the driver's license I could have DOT licenses Department of Transportation any kind of license expiration so that's how you get the workers in there this would be automatically input from the payroll system we would import that information and all the workers into field time on the website field time which is where we're going to concentrate most of our time this morning and if you go to the crew schedule it'll allow you to see all of the different worksheets that are out there and if I select from October 1 to, to current date you'll see all the different worksheets that I have and which ones have been approved and what types that they are the locations the rates the number of workers notice all of these records that are in balance so if I wanted to look at you know a certain type of a timesheet I could look at it here or I could look at, at the status if I only wanted to see well what were the approved worksheets that I have out there and here's all the approved so if I went and looked at let's take this Marvin's crew I've got 20 of them here this is a whole crew they were harvesting early mids and if I went to the worksheet detail okay then you would see all of the different workers how many pieces that they had how many hours and so forth that they had, had done and if I wanted to print the timesheet I could just print the timesheet right here and in summary field time allows you to electronically capture workers time in time out and pieces of applicable out in the field you can do that by job you can track the field and you can track harvesting tickets optionally if you'd like to that information is uploaded from the field via mobile magic field time into the land magic field time website where it is checked approved and at that point uh, it is then posted over to payroll to cut the checks so it's that simple in you know, electronic timekeeping in today's age is a must so let's uh, let's go look and let's actually let's do a worksheet so we're gonna do there's two ways to get the information to your payroll system one is to capture the information out in the field on our product mobile magic and I'll demonstrate that to you here shortly or you can do worksheets or manual timesheets out in the field and pick the crew so I could, I could pick a land area which I've got here in this case and is what we'll do is we'll pick block four in this case and we'll say that we're gonna pay them nine dollars an hour uh, we don't have any hours offered here but we're gonna pay a dollar five per box we got eight hours in this particular case and we're gonna be harvesting early mid so I've now created my worksheet and this is a harvesting regular for Ricardo's crew so if I now go into the worksheet detail you'll see all of the different workers here so if I go click the little button there and I select all of them I can select everybody and they can clock in at the same time so let's say that I we clocked in at seven o'clock and they wouldn't necessarily all check in notice it's still red we're missing all of the out punches okay as it as it relates to these workers so we're gonna 
select them all again and normally in a real environment they wouldn't necessarily all check in and out at the same time they would have some varying and let's say that we uh, checked out it's it's military time it's 1622 so now I've got everybody checked out we work nine hours and 37 this is a perfect crew if I wanted to take some breaks I could also do breaks and we'll say that we're going to start at 1130 and let's say we did a 45 minute break so now I've clocked my workers in I've done breaks now is what I can do now is since this is a piece count worksheet and now we've got all of our pieces in there so you can enter it but if you brought this in automatically from the field all that information would come in automatically and you wouldn't have to do any of this enter so notice that I've now got my timesheet and if I wanted to go look at this timesheet now I don't have any signatures on it because I did it online but if it had come out from the field that's where you would see that so that's how you enter a timesheet online and if you looked at the schedule and let's look at what's on the 14th here and we checked off our status this is Ricardo's crew this is the harvesting we had some blueberries going on too in another location and we were paying a dollar five we had 16 workers in this particular case so that's our worksheet and that's now in the processing status so if I went to the thing notice it's out of balance so one of the things that office does or the crew leader is they balance all of the detailed pieces that come from the individual workers and they balance that for the crew so in this particular case I'm gonna say yes it did balance and now I've got this worksheet and I could approve that worksheet because it's now in balance so if I went back to the schedule you would now see the worksheet of Ricardo's crew is in the approved status and it is in balance so this allows me to to enter the now it's ready for payroll so you could literally post it out to payroll we also have the worker page and the contract list if you're doing h2a tracking with the three-quarter guarantee we do that you can download mobile magic okay to the device notice the wide variety of reports here and we'll come back to that in just a second let me show you how we set up some of this data so if I go into master data setup utilities uh, it'll bring me to the product setup and if I go to field time it'll show me the different things that are available to set up to control the system here's where you would enter your crews so these are all the different crews and what default worksheet type that they are this is where field time controls is so this allows us to uh, set up what's the starting day of the week what's the most common worksheet type what's the unit of measure for harvesting how do I get workers do I the ability to add harvesting tickets to the schedule do I want to be able to add register workers out in the field and do I want to track jobs or SKUs out in the field depending on the type of functions and operation that you are so there's lots of worker benefits compensation and uh, group that you can set up these are the worksheet reason types so this would be if you want to track why they didn't show up or why they left early or if it's an h2a contract which is the three-quarter guarantee this is where you would set that up and this is worksheet types and worksheet types allows you to define different types of time worksheets in this examples here you have production harvest mechanic timesheet office staff harvesting blueberries you'll notice that we can flag on or off detail tracking piece count wage tracking and location tracking so to add one you simply just enter it and click the, the plus button and you're done so these functions allow you to to set up field time to work for your business now is what I'd like to do is I'd like to minimize this should see my turtle on my desktop now and I'm gonna I'm now on an offline application so this doesn't require internet so this would be on a tablet or a laptop or something like that and is what I did is clicked mobile magic and it brings up my pin number so it's I'm a crew leader and I'm logging in with my pin number this is mobile magic so if you can see that it's in English and Spanish so it inherited the languages from the field time website in any glossary or language changes that you've made for any dialects this is how this worksheets are set up so they're set up as I'm harvesting tubs but I'm, I'm getting paid by boxes 
So there's multiple different sources and, and ways that you can use the software with barcoding or signatures, etc. So that's how you set it up. How you get the data in here is you simply sync it up. So I would click this button. It doesn't take that a while. It literally takes a couple minutes. But that's how you get all the workers and so forth into Mobile Magic. So if I go into Crew Touch, you'll see I've got two worksheets. I'm harvesting out of two locations uh, in the Blue Jay field, block five and six. And I've got 15 workers checked in. Okay, and let's go look at, look at that. And I'm going to go into this particular worksheet. And you can see here that everybody was checked in early this morning at varying times. So as what I could do is I could, to clock this worker out, we're going to take Chris, we highlight him, and we go to clock out. It's that simple. And they just, and this is on a tablet, so it's a touch screen type application. So you can do them one at a time, or you could do them all at the same time and clock them out. You normally wouldn't do that. But now look what I have. I've, I've got everybody out at 12 o'clock. Okay, so they've worked about four hours. So now is what we're going to do is we're going to enter the counts. So we're going to say that we did, we're going to do five tubs. And each tub equals 10 boxes. So in this case, I'm going to have 50. They, and they are cumulative too, by the way. Notice the Jimmy Ruiz. If I went back in and I added one more, he now goes to 60. So you can enter them at the end of the day or you can accumulate them during the day. Okay, we've entered all of the piece counts now. You'll notice that all the piece counts are all displayed on this employee grid. And now my job is at the end of the day is to have each one of these workers verify that this information is correct. Here's Chris. We got 50 boxes. He's worked five hours from 7 to 12 and he gets to sign and he can sign it with a, a stylus or his finger and I'm going to decline this in this case and I'm going to say I clocked out a little later than that just to show so the worker now goes on record sent with this record up to field time so it's what I do is I go through each one of these things okay my goal is to be able to verify each workers time in pieces and on as a crew leader, I need every one of these green unless he was a no-show. So at this particular point, I have completed my worksheet, and I could then go back to the worksheets, and you'll see this status mark here with a check mark. So it says I've got 15 workers in, 15 workers out. I've got a total of um, 640 tubs in this particular case. I'm paying $8.50 an hour, and I'm paying $1.05 a piece. So now, to get this information, I connect via Wi-Fi on a mobile hotspot, or you can go through a McDonald's or a cafe or whatever that you, or home or the office, and you simply click the upload button, and it, and it says upload complete. It takes a few seconds to get that done. So as what we did is we uploaded this particular worksheet, and if I went in, and went into the another one that I've got in, which is block five, which we haven't done. We're paying a dollar on this, eight fifty. It is tubs and so forth. So that's how that one was, was got in there. And if I went into Crew Touch, you could see that I've got everybody checked in, and there's Randall that's a no show. So I could go through the same procedure, okay, and upload this worksheet and sign everything and so forth. Now, if you also wanted to create tickets out in the field you could go into this button called create tickets and you literally could create the ticket number right there in the field and have that sent automatically so I just thought I'd show you that while I was there we went back to the worksheets and we've got an uploaded notice our sync green so now not only have we completed the worksheet and we're ready to go but we've synchronized it with the land magic field time website and if I go up there and I refresh this browser you'll see that here's the worksheet Ricardo's which has just come in it's harvesting and if I go into the worksheet itself you will now see that I've got my 640 pieces and if I did an edit now balance this to say I got 640 tubs out of Ricardo's crew and it says no job you want to create it yep I do and that is now in balance so if I went into the worksheet detail there's all of my workers Okay, here's every one of those work that I've got. And notice this one is Chris, and it's set up as an exception. That's why it's highlighted. So if I now go into the worker timesheet, 
you'll see all of those signatures and all the hours and so forth that we had. And here's all of the different signatures and so forth that we created out in the field. And if I wanted to export that out to a format, an Excel, or any of that, or a PDF, or image, or CSV, I can do that. So as what we've done here is we have reviewed, and there's a bunch of different reports that I mentioned to that are, that are available. So I could create all kind of performance reports and, and uh, payroll statements and so forth. This is an example here of a crew wage analysis. So this was time that was taken out in the field. Um, and here's my piecework wages compute, and here's any minimum wage markup. So we do the minimum wage calculation okay on the website itself and if I wanted to look at crew performance I could then graph out and I could double click on this and drill down to all the workers here's Marvin Jenkins crew and Ricardo Peters crew so there's a lot of different um, reports that are available here is a uh, picker performance so here's an example here of all the individual workers and the pieces an hour that they're doing I can even graph that out so there's a lot of reports that are available. Uh, here's a payroll analysis report, which provides uh, piece work quantities, piece rate, any minimum wage makeup. In this example, we've got some minimum wage capabilities. So there's a lot of strong reporting that is out there. If you wanted to look at a harvesting report, you could look at crew wage analysis, crew wages. Here's a daily wage analysis report. Let's take a look at that one for a second. So this was uh, Tuesday, April 2nd. Here's all the workers, number of pieces, you know, and what I was, was doing. So it's full reporting capability. And in summary, field time allows you to electronically capture workers time in, time out, and pieces if applicable out in the field. You can do that by job. You can track the field. And you can track harvesting tickets optionally if you'd like to. That information is uploaded from the field via Mobile Magic Field Time into the Land Magic Field Time website where it is checked, approved, and at that point it is then posted over to payroll to cut the checks. So it's that simple. Thank you for your time. And we appreciate your time this morning. For further information, you can reach out to us at propacksoftware.com or you can call the 800 number at 1-800-886-0933 or you can send an email to sales at propacksoftware.com. Have a great day.